there are you know and that's it I blow only isn't but yes take but how sh that's this in life you haven't you learned that's not fair nothing you all then so and what about the way the way you're you am I for huh most shut just now I know. all those that bit that hate you always I let you I believed it was right but not in this end. Zen No I'm done You won't I am str I can close Blow it's time I'm You will you No Hello. Mitzi is dead. You don't have to answer. What are you any? How convenient. I guess if you weren't, you'd explain why you wish. But I don't know what. Perhaps I I've done some. I let my friend die, right? Because I'm scared of dying. Funny, isn't it? Susan Ashworth, a miserable reject. But this is your life we should talk about. You saw it all on your camera. Your own father choking to death. You ungrateful pig. And Mitzi, she gave... Do you think I owe it to her? How clever. Is this how you murder that device on your- I can see why you're known as- That evil eye is the only- That and your brain of- You have no idea. You've made people kill- In a way. No. This would be exactly what you want. I'm not going to make it so easy for you. But you will be punished for your crimes. Trust me. Your father would always refuse to put a stop to it, wouldn't he? You were his son. He didn't mind feeding you through a tube, washing you, emptying your catheter. But he would not pull a plug on you. Now that your father's dead, They'll put you in some stinking nursing home. They'll keep you alive for a long time, even though you'll wish for death every day. And the best part is that no one will even know about it. Because I'll make sure you'll never see a computer screen again. It's time for me. I'll be leaving now. You can expect people coming soon to collect you. Until then. Make sure you don't go anywhere, right? It's me, again, talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. It was her decision to sacrifice her own life for the sake of mine. 
a decision that made me realize that people can still care about me, while her life was almost over anyway. She gave up on one thing that was most important to her. Revenge. And she did it for me. But if I really did become immortal for that short time in my life, wasn't it unnecessary for Mitzi to die before her time, poisoned like a rat? I still miss her, though. Every day. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? A little gift from behind the grave. I met some people. We go out sometimes, and I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them, tried to help. And now, I'm writing this blog. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives.